I have a patient with a high INR, her INR is 8, and she's on the warfarin for AF. I'm wondering if the map of medicine can help me decide what to do. Let's have a look at the options. So, INR more than 20, or patient with bleeding. Well, she's not bleeding from anywhere. She looks very well, her obs are all stable. So elevated INR less than 20 with no bleeding. That would fit. So she's on warfarin. She's had it started for her AF. So she's an elevated INR, less than 20 with no bleeding. And the information box tells me that I have got options to try and reverse it. So that search button was actually highlighted for you when you came in here. Hmm. Yeah. And so I could give vitamin K, but that has its own risks of le leading to an increased chance of thromboembolism. But with the absence of bleeding, I can stop the warfarin, adjust the dose, and consider the vitamin K depending on how high the INR is. So, so eight is, is quite high, but it, it's not too high. So I think from this, I can stop her warfarin tonight and then recheck the INR tomorrow. And if it continues to go up, I can still use vitamin K as an option. But if it's showing a downward trend, then I can keep omitting the dose until it's back in the therapeutic range of two to three for her AF. Well, th that was helpful. I think it stopped me from panicking about whether I should be giving vitamin K or fresh frozen plasma. And it stopped me having to disturb my registrar in clinic. Oh, and I could read up more about it in these papers that it's telling me about. So guidelines on oral anticoagulation. Oh, that was very useful.